Welcome everyone to the premiere episode of 20 Pictures, a slideshow show, presented by CKCC Radio on the official Club Kayfabe Creative Community YouTube channel. I am Chris O'Mealy, podcast host and commissioner, joined by my partner in crime, you know him from Club Kayfabe Wrestle Talk and the Stupid Sexy Podcast, as well as our main Twitch guy, twitch.tv slash ckcc online. This is Dan Peck. How's it going? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is the Slideshow Show, a Slideshow Show. So I'm Slideshow Bob, and he is Slideshow Mel. Oh, God. Um, yes, we are the, we are the Slideshows, because <laughs> of course we are. So what we're going to do here is everybody is currently looking at the still image right now, but what you're going to be witnessing is a literal picture slideshow. Uh, if you guys are wrestling fans, then this will be familiar to you. It's the WWE photo shoot concept. But for those who aren't, I'll quickly explain what we're going to do. We're going to present each other with 20 pictures uh, with no knowledge of what one person is going to be showing the other one. In this episode, Dan will be showing me pictures. In our next episode, I'll be showing Dan pictures. No the most we know is there is if there is a theme. There might be a theme involved, or it could just be one of those super random things. But we don't have any knowledge going in, so we're literally just going to present a picture and react to it in real time. If you guys like the concept of the show and want to join us, you are welcome to do so. So, Dan, what you got for me? Oh, hey, this thing I told it to never do again. <laughs> All right. This was an issue when we did a test. Uh, <laughs> that thing. Yes, uh, but we worked through that issue, thankfully. So, um, and apparently it came back. Uh, so, Chris, do you want to play a game? Let's play a game. Oh, you are the game, and you want to play? Ugh. I was actually right. imitating Jigsaw, but I like that you went the Triple H route. Yeah. Well, I started out with freaking. Uh, yeah. How about thermonuclear war? All right. <laughs> um, this one is going to be a game. So I'm double. So it's double theme. Sometimes it's just a hey, here's a picture react. Well, this one is a hey, here's a picture react, and then play the game. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and scoured the internet, and by scoured the internet, I went to IMDb <laughs> and said, "Give me every episode of The Simpsons and." filter it by imdb rating so this is the 20 highest rated episodes on imdb of the samson all right and then i went to a website that has like a hundred screen grabs for every episode and i've grabbed a random screen grab some of them might be incredibly easy to figure out some of them might be incredibly difficult that's what's fun about it so so here we go we're going to start with what IMDb people have voted as the 20th best episode of The Simpsons ever. <laughs> All right. So the episode is Radioactive Man, the movie, or it might just be called Radioactive Man. That is incorrect. Oh, it is not. Uh, okay, another episode with Millhouse on milk cartons. They were looking for something. Something went missing, and they might have replaced Millhouse's picture on them. Ooh, that's a tough one. See, because my initial thought was uh, the uh, have you seen me thing when he goes AWOL as Fallout Boy, but... Crap, I don't actually know. Millhouse on milk cartons. I'm trying to think. I, rem I do definitely remember the joke where it's like... Something's missing, and it's important. Oh, was it Rosebud? Yep. Bobo the Bear? It's supposed to be Bobo. Yeah, they replaced Millhouse with Bobo. <laughs> which actually is pretty brilliant. <laughs> yes, Bobo the Bear. His stuffed bear. All right. Here's what IMDb people think is the 19th best episode of The Simpsons. Oh, that's, uh, so I believe this actually came from, mm, oh, this was either Duffless, possibly, 
or it's, oh it's this not it's not duffless okay um because uh, this is a uh, when Homer gets Barney to try his first beer, and it ruins his life. Yeah, because it literally ruins him from the uh, the SATs. Uh this episode is from. I'm thinking about all the episodes with beer implications in them. Uh what's the one where the kids go to Duff Gardens with Selma? Selma's Choice. Does that have a reference to beer in it? I mean, it probably does, but that's not the answer it's here. It's not it either. Uh, and this doesn't... I don't think this has the rant with Grandpa telling him I used to be with it. And then it became... <laughs> music and scary. It'll happen to you. Uh, I don't actually know. Not off the top of my head. The name of the episode is... Mr. Plow, that's the name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Ah, oh, jeez. I was actually starting to lean towards uh, Homer in space because, but that's where uh, Barney. But I don't. I don't think that had the reference. Yeah, I forget that that's from Mr. Plow because they have that freaking reference in there. That's a good one. Yeah, I should have guessed that would be in the top twenty. These are all good episodes, by the way. So. Uh, both episodes so far have been good. <laughs> yes, I would agree All with right. that. IMDb voted number 17. And, you know, number 18th best episode is this one. Oh, geez. They're just... Looks like they're arguing on a city panel. Uh, is this the monorail episode? No, it's not the monorail episode. Uh, is this... Is this the last exit to Springfield? It's not. Uh, is it Burns to Kafka to Kraftwerk? Nope. Uh, what the hell? All right. Set the scene for me. Do you remember what they're arguing about? Uh, I know what the episode's about. Okay. I don't know what the scene particularly is about. But all they right. all look angry at somebody... And my guess is that somebody is Homer in that situation. Uh, that's possible. Yeah. Um, good, good lord! Can't we have one town meeting without a riot? Uh, yeah, I would good. guess they would be ho mad at Homer. I'm sure, Homer did something crappy. Uh, I did something, but Homer is against it. Uh, I don't know. This is from Homer versus the 18th Amendment. Oh, damn. The Prohibition episode? That looks like a way older screenshot than that. Now, that's got the famous line at the end. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Also has another one of my favorite lines. All right, guys, this is the busiest drinking day of the year. Where are the designated drivers? Beat it. I got no room for cheapskates. It's been St. Patrick's Day for an hour, and I'm still not drunk yet. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Our next best episode, according to IMDb voters. Ha ha. Oh, my God. Is that, uh... Is this from Homer the Smithers? Yes, it is. <laughs> that's the outer shot of the nursing home. That's, that's Mr. Burns' mom that's in there. All she can do is dial the phone and yell. <laughs> I also love that, uh, because friggin' uh, Vince McMahon's mother just turned 100 years old, and he's like, I hope I have the same genetics. And all it's making me think about is Mr. Burns' mom and that horrible longevity that comes with it. Dear God. I just want to die. Homer the Smithers is one of my personal favorite episodes of all time. It's so goddamn funny. My favorite is, uh, what do I do in case of fire? And Smith, as soon as he turns around, the office is on fire, and Burns is just sitting in the middle of it. He's like, oh, just my luck. <laughs> <laughs> or when he tries to make him breakfast and everything catches on fire. Even the cornflakes. 
donuts? I don't like ethnic food. And the best is at the end, Smither sends him the fruit basket. <laughs> What'd you get the fruit basket for? For knocking out Mr. Burns. Really? Did he die? I don't know, what am I, a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> good, good episode. Great episode, actually. All right. Our next highest rated episode is... Now, that's from uh, Homer in Space. Yeah, Deep Space Homer. Oh, Deep Space Homer, yeah. Because uh, the because they watched the Itchy and Scratchy episode, and Bart and Lisa are laughing, and Homer's just sitting there with the most mortified look on his face ever. Uh, I always love how the Itchy and Scratchy episode theme always ties into the plot of the episode. Yeah, yeah, it's a good stuff. Like when... Uh, when they're being fostered by the Flanders kids <laughs> and Scratchy adopts baby Itchy and then he murders him and steals his TV. Bart and Lisa are laughing and it cuts to Rod and Todd who are just super pale and their lips are quivering. <laughs> Dude, what's the red stuff coming out of the kitty's ears? I hope that episode's on here. But yes, let's move on to another episode. D Space Homer is fantastic. Oh, I could tell this one. 22 short films about Springfield. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, get one from this episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smithers gets a B in his eye, and he's deathly allergic to them. So, of course, it stings him, and Burns forces him to pedal him to the hospital. And they take Burns in instead of Smithers. Uh, there's a B in my eye, sir. I'm allergic. They caused me to uh to die. What well, a taste, man. Let me just bat it away for you. Uh, I also like when uh Burns is on the exercise bike with Smithers, and he's like, "Is that enough exercise for you?" He goes, "How about another twenty miles?" And then he goes and starts playing pinball. That's from Who Shot Mr. Burns, which should which should be on this list. Hmm. Yeah, 22, 22 short films is a fantastic episode. All right, our next highest rated episode. Well, I wanted Who Shot Mr. Burns. <laughs> Actually, with Dr. Colossus, this is from part two, I think. Congratulations. Because, uh... Who Shot Mr. Burns, part two. Yeah, because, uh... They're like, because this is when a sideshow Mel bursts in and reveals that they've arrested an innocent man. And they're like, all right, Dr. Colossus, you're free to go. And he uses his Colosso boots on the way out. Very obscure screenshot, but it wasn't enough to trick me. <laughs> Which is sad because I didn't get the Barney one. But I always forget that that was tied into the Mr. Plow episode. Who shot Mr. Right. Burns? Fantastic. Part two. Ah, uh, ooh, this is a tough one. This looks like a soap opera scene, and the the I'm trying to think of two times when there were soap operas involved. One of them is uh, is this from the PTA disbands? Yeah. No, okay, because I remember they showed Jimbo watching soap operas with his mom uh i also remember the episode where lisa gets the mumps i think she's watching a soap opera in there too and that was uh bart's dog gets an f bart's dog gets an f yeah because that's when they have to send santa's little helper to yeah a training school okay uh then i'm not sure is this from homer badman is not from Homer and Batman. Oh, damn. I don't know. But this is part of four episodes in a row with Homer in the title. Oh, God. Uh, Homer the Great? That would be a huge obscure reference from that episode. This is from King Size Homer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because he's watching soaps while he's working from home. That's right. Mm, tab, don't mind if I do. 
Oh, I'll have to wait for the... No, no time for that. The computer started. There doesn't seem to be any any key. I see Esk, Katarl, <laughs> Pig Up. Whew, all this hacking is making me thirsty. Better order a tab. Yeah, good choice. I'll tell you, when we get to that episode... <laughs> I don't want anything that makes me look like a weirdo. I'll just go with the Moo Moo. Because he, his weight is unrealistic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe this. I just laugh at any time you see Flanders out of character. Flanders never got mad. This is not from Hurricane Nettie. This is too old of a screenshot. Okay, so I think this is from. The episode where Homer and Ned become best buddies. And Ned's escaping Homer in that Terminator-esque shot. It's either from that, or it's from... Or it's when they're, tr they're trying to reconvert Homer back to Christianity. Because he stays home from church. Which I believe is that's... Uh, Homer... Is that the... The uh, heretic? Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Homer the heretic. Yes, Homer the heretic. Oh, yeah, because he goes to jump the train. They're like, N don't do it, Ned. Or he's like, Daddy, he's escaping. I see him. Daddy, are you going to jail? We'll see, son. We'll see, son. And then, why wasn't Ned at church to save Homer's life? The big questions that need to be answered. Mm, yes. All right. Oh my god. It's just a barrel being thrown through a window. Yep. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this takes place during a One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest parody that was happening in that episode. But fuck Maybe, if... I don't know. Uh, is this from the Michael Jackson episode? No. Damn. All right, I'll need some context then. I, I will not give it to you. Okay. I don't know it. I don't know it in this specific instance. Uh, well, all right. Well, I'll. I don't know the episode, so you'll have to tell me it to me, and then maybe I can figure out the context. Because I, I can give you a hint, but it would give it away. I'm not going to say what it is. All right. Well, then go ahead, because I don't know. We do. Oh, this is from Homer the Great. Yes. But I don't actually know what part of the episode that's from. Damn, and I love that episode too, but I can't pinpoint in my head exactly what's happening to make that happen. And it looks like it's coming from the outside, not the inside. Ah, yeah. All right, good choice though. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Homer Badman. Yep. <laughs> He's Rowdy Roddy Peeper. The Willy. Groundskeeper Willy. Don't touch Willy. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> oh, just thinking about that sweet candy. <laughs> they love the edit the horribly edited clip. Her sweet can. Her sweet can. Uh, yeah. That's Homer Badman. I didn't realize that was that high up on the list. Yeah. It is, apparently. Alright. Next up. <laughs> I don't remember the episode that this is featured in, but I know that Millhouse puts in 40 quarters. The character moves one step and it goes game over, and he goes, what a ripoff, and then immediately starts putting quarters back in. I don't remember the actual episode that's featured in, though. That's really funny, yeah. though. Is this from the PTA disbands? No. Yeah. This is a crossover episode with another Fox television show. Oh, my God. Is this from the friggin' Critic crossover? No. What'd they do? The... Oh! 
uh, uh, the X Files crossover. Yeah, the Springfield Files. Springfield Files. I was gonna say I. It's an episode I've watched recently too, and that actually was an episode I'd watched recently. But yeah, <laughs> this better be good for forty quarters. <laughs> God damn. Ten dollars, Jesus. All right. Up next is. Uh, I don't remember the uh, the episode off the top of my head, but I know that Bart puts the lit fire work down. Oh, wait a minute. He's in Chinatown. This is... Apparently uh, about to go into Japantown. Or was just in Japantown. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, <laughs> the actual... What's the actual name of this episode? Um, the City of New York versus Homer Simpson. Yes, that is correct. Right, because he, he puts the firework down, they all start going off, and the guy runs out and goes, Oh no, my fortune cookie was right! So terrible, but so funny. That episode's great. It's funny that Disney Plus doesn't have the Michael Jackson episode, but they still have the episode with the Twin Towers in it. So there you go. Disc, disc. All right. We're going to get to our next one. <laughs> uh, I do not believe this actually comes from Homer at the Bat. But... Uh, is this from Homer Goes to College? No. Damn. Um... So we are actually done with episodes with Homer in the title. Oh, okay. That does help. There, there are no more episodes that have Homer in the title. I don't know the episode. Because then my other get Because I don't think it's a baseball-themed episode. I think it's just a one-off gag. It is not a baseball-themed episode. Yeah, I don't know. Too, that's too, too obscure to pin down on one episode. And it's more of a Shelbyville idea anyway. Oh, this is from Marge versus the Monorail. Yep. Damn. I don't remember when this actually popped up, but that's a really funny screenshot. Monorail. Monorail. What about us, Brandon Slobs? You'll be given cushy jobs. The ring came off my pudding can. Take my penknife, my good man. My favorite joke in that whole song is at the very end of it when they all come out and do the ending beat and Homer's, Homer completely fucks it up. Excellent. All right. Uh, we're getting into the real top episodes. I should know these. Just based Were on... You? Now that is Last Exit to Springfield. Yeah, it is correct. Because they're talking about the... The dental plan and Gummy Joe is like, where would you be without the dental plan? I wouldn't have old Chompa here, that's for sure. <laughs> that's awesome. Lisa needs right. braces. Dental plan. Are we in top Wait, five we, territory now? Yes, we are now in the Chase Owens countdown. Oh my goodness. The big E countdown. Here we go. Smithers in a hat. This, oh, I know it. I know it. Hold on. I'm, I'm blanking on the title, but I know it's You Only Move Twice. Yeah, that's right. It was one of the only ones that didn't have Hank Scorpio in it. <laughs> 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 because they're they're trying to offer, they try to offer the job to Smithers, and instead they give it to Homer. We ever seen a guy say goodbye to a shoe? <laughs> Once. <laughs> It's the Hammock District, down on 3rd. <laughs> I always love the idea behind that episode that, like, even though he's a super villain, he's a super nice guy in real life, and he treats his employees like gold. He just wants to take over the world, is <laughs> yes. all. Great episode. One of my, one of my t personal favorites. That's top 10 for me. It is. It's topper. Apparently, it's the fifth best episode of all time. Here yes. comes number the fourth best episode of all time, according to IMDb voters. Uh, 
Executive Spa, Physical Fitness for Better Tyranny. Um, I believe this is Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1. That is correct. Because that is the shot right before the exercise bike part. Yep. You know, I and you know what? If Part 2 hadn't been up earlier, or the scene with Smithers on the bike, I probably would have blanked on this completely. And I would have hated myself for it, because that's a favorite episode of mine. So Part 1 is, like, more than 10 better, apparently, than Part 2. Well, because it had the cliffhanger. And that hadn't been done before. They, they even said, like, as far as media blitzes, it was the biggest uh, cliffhanger since Who Shot JR. It was and then, that big a deal. You know the you know the story that they like they were like, hey, let's do a contest to whoever guesses. We'll give them a million dollars. Okay, no, not a million dollars. Maybe a cameo in an episode. Okay, so they did this contest. Whoever guessed, you get it, or whatever. And they're like, well, no one guessed. <laughs> so I guess we'll just pick a random person. They pick this person, they call the lady, and she's like, oh, I just entered for the fuck of it. I don't care about the Simpsons. I don't want to be on an episode. <laughs> so not only did she get it wrong, she didn't want the prize. <laughs> That's incredible. You know, it's funny, because I had one of those friends in high school who you know was always a bullshit artist. And he was like, you know, my brother sent in a submission that he said Maggie did it. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, if that was the case, then... He would have won the contest. It was actually a really... They got millions and millions of entries and no one had Maggie. So, (laughs) we are now at the top three episodes of all time. Treehouse of Horror 5. Yep. Is that the only Treehouse of Horror that made it that high? Yep. God only damn. one on this list. Well, it's The Shinning, Time and yep. Punishment, and Nightmare Cafeteria. Yep. Yeah, because she Kravapal just wrote, your homework is to eat a stick of butter. Stick of butter. <laughs> She's reading The Joy of Cooking Millhouse. Very good. Uh, that's a great Halloween episode. It is. It's I'm actually... It is the best one, because all three of them are bangers. There's ones that were like, well, we're going to very soon, we're going to be doing a live one, and it's the three are, are, are good. The, the one that should have been the best was the one that wasn't the best. The, the uh, first one. three anyway. is my personal favorite, but five is my second favorite. So I took, And the shitting is my favorite skit they've ever done for all Treehouse of Horrors. Like above and beyond my absolute favorite. Because it's just so goddamn funny. It's amazing that a six-minute short crammed in an entire reference to The Shining and did it brilliantly. You know why I don't like scary movies? <laughs> uh, Ready Player One was also brilliant. Ready Player Two you know coming what? soon. Yes, but Ready Player Two is the book. Did you read Ready Player One, the book? Yes. Okay, so you know how brilliant it is. And you understand that the creative changes were necessary to make the movie as good as it was. But still a little disappointed. Because a racing segment was way more exciting than playing Joust with a list. Just saying. Yes, but doing the entire Tomb of Horrors to get there would have been fucking bomb ass. Uh, that's true. That's true. Because I've played the Tomb of Horrors. <laughs> and that's some crazy shit. But I guess, you know, if you're, you you know the entire Tomb of Horrors, you know what to do. So, anyway, here comes the second best episode of all time, of which I disagree. Because uh, you would have this first place. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Cape Fear is top five and always will be. But here's the thing. Going into this, I actually know what number one is because yeah. I do. Because it hasn't come up. Well, no, sure. I actually, I actually have always known what IMDb's top pick was. Because the first time I ever looked it up, I was shocked, but also not that shocked that it was number one. So I'm actually. Well, not that shocked. Our <laughs> okay. Why don't you windmill slam it right now before I even show you a picture? But that's the thing. I, I don't know what picture you're going to show me, and it's going to be hysterical when you do. But first, real quick, Kate Fear, 
top three all time episodes. Almost top three right here. Yeah, it's uh, it's the best sideshow Bob episode. It's one of the funniest episodes overall. It's so insane with how fast the jokes come at you. And I'll be damned if I don't still laugh to a wheezing degree when that rake segment comes up. And there's like even like the quick segment on the boat with Homer and like the huge knife. Hey, boy! <laughs> Brownies? Oh, no. Dad's been drugged. No, he hasn't. <laughs> You're like, hey, boy, you want to see my new chainsaw and face mask? <laughs> oh, right. The Sideshow Bob thing. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Well, I don't need safety gloves because I'm Homer Simpson. Please show me which. (laughs) Behold, the power plant of the future today. But it's so cold and sterile. Where's the love? But it really generates power. It's lighting up this room right now. And then look, everyone. Simpson entered a contest for six year olds. Quiet, you're making us miss the contest. Frank Grimes, or Grimey as he liked to be called, was Homer's enemy. <laughs> do I have to do anything? Ugh! Ugh! You know what's low-key a good episode, too? Is the fucking follow-up to that episode, where it's his son. And my father liked hookers, okay? <laughs> Frank Grimes wasn't married. How do you have a son? He liked hookers, okay? <laughs> Uh, Grimy Jr.? How is old Grimy doing? He's dead! <laughs> like you should be! That's also a Sideshow Bob episode. No wonder that one's so funny. Yeah, Homer's Enemy is... It's in my top ten, overall. And it's its not an episode I would argue being the most popular Simpsons episode. Because it's so dark. The Simpsons doesn't do dark humor that often. And when they do, they do it well finally the one sane person in in, in, in the whole power field. plant so, and yeah. he goes insane because of it I'm peeing on the seat give me a raise <laughs> hey are you okay grimy I'm better than okay I'm Homer Simpson it's such a good episode oh my god and at the end when Homer falls asleep during the funeral and everybody's just laughing nobody cares <laughs> My favorite whole scene is the when Grimes comes to his house and just loses yeah, it. Like, oh, Tammy, your wife is gorgeous and your kids are wonderful. And why the fuck? You went to space? <laughs> You've never been? Hey, do you want to see my Grammy? No! <laughs> so what do you guys think of Slideshow Show? Do you like this idea? Do you want to be part of it? Let us know. And we can incorporate you. If you guys are patrons at patron.com slash club kayfabe, you get first priority. But if you're any part of the CKCC radio community and you'd like to participate, we shall do this. And if you want me to do one of these slideshows for one of our other podcast hosts, like Jeff or Adrian or Mark or Brian or Jay or Matt, any of them guys. Name them all. Or Glenn or Ellis. Adrian. Or Ellis. Oh, Ellis. Yeah. Now, my whole goal with Ellis would be to just show him pictures to make him snort. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I would do. Uh, next time we do this, I'm going to present a slideshow for Dan. And then who knows what will be next. But we'll see you guys next time for another slideshow show. Bye.